Okay, can you see the PowerPoint which I have shared? <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, good. So today uh, we are going to do the uh, practical revision of the gross anatomy of Louis. Okay, uh, here we can see the um, specimen of the lower limb which I have taken photo uh, here in the dissection hall of the Manipal College. Okay, your anatomy hub, I will say. Uh, we have taken this photo uh, from the specimen. And today uh, I'm taking a class on the uh, photos of the gross specimen, which will ask in the uh, practical examination. Okay, if online examination help, then we will ask utilizing these photos. And if the examination help after you are returning back here in MCOM, still now it is not decided by the university. Um, then also it will be helpful to you. Okay, uh, so I'm starting with the uh, front and the uh, lateral side of the thigh at first. First of all, front of the thigh. So here, uh, you see the photo of uh, the front of the thigh. Uh, let's mute your mic, huh? Somebody, you are unmuted your mic. Mute your mic. Yes, now it's okay. Uh, so here you can see front of the thigh. In the picture you can see front of the thigh. Here, uh, what are the important things for the exporter? I am telling one by one, okay? So here this area, this whole area is the front of the thigh. First of all, you have to identify the side of the thigh. Which side is this? Front of the thigh, okay? So here in the front of the thigh, uh, you have to identify ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine. This one is the ASIS, anterior superior area is fine, okay? And here you can see white fold which is going traveling medially, okay? This one is the inguinal ligament. This ligament is the inguinal ligament, okay? And uh, below the inguinal ligament, you can see a femoral triangle. See, this area is the femoral triangle. Sartorius muscle is uh, not good here. It is already detached, but it's still upper part of the uh, sartorius muscle you can see here it is lining sartorius muscle so uh, you, you, you can imagine uh, the reason for the sartorius muscle it will go like this okay and uh, here here you can see adductor lungus see here this one is the adductor lungus okay so here this one is the femoral triangle inside the femoral triangle i'm not talking about the every theoretical part of the reason i'm talking about only the important structures for the spotter examination point of view okay so here within the femoral triangle now uh, these structures are very very important for the spotter uh, these are the femoral vein see here the very most structure is the femoral vein and this one is the femoral artery okay and then the latter one this one is the femoral nerve okay this one is femoral nerve this one is femoral artery and this one is the femoral vein okay and here you can see uh, femoral nerve is going downward and here it gives one branch which is going here towards the uh, erector canal again okay? erector canal see this one is the saphenous nerve this nerve is just very very important sometimes we we'll pick up the nerve from this region lower region or, or uh, if it is online examination then we'll just put a pointer here okay like this we'll put a pointer and then we'll ask what is the pointed structure what is its um, origin and what is its distribution like this will ask even tail question also i am telling okay uh, if you want to note down you can quickly note down if you want to remember the things you can remember already we have discussed enough in the dissection hall on that basis we are again discussing for your review okay so this one is the saphenous now another important structure for the spotter so can you identify all these three structures um femoral vein femoral artery and this one is the saphenous nerve B, we used to say B, A, N, band structure, isn't it? Medial most is the femoral vein and then central, what is there? There is the femoral artery and the lateral one is the femoral nerve, okay? And uh, one more very, very important structure here which also may be pointed during the spotter examination is this one. Uh, this one is another important structure now it is better to interact with you also. Uh, in number one, I am seeing the Prasiddhi. Prasiddhi Acharya, are you hearing to me? Yes, sir. 
Yes, so can you tell what is this structure? What so is this structure? Can you identify? Huh? So femoral vein. Uh, femoral vein, I have told already, this one is the femoral vein. See here, it will go like this. Everybody listen to our interaction, okay? See, this one is the femoral vein. It will go like this, okay? It will go like this. See, it is going here deeper. This one is the femoral vein. It is going towards the apex of the femoral triangle and then will reach there into the adductor canal. Uh, here from the medial side, see, it's to the lower part, you can see. Uh, this one is coming to the upper side and it is draining here into the femoral vein. So what may be this? I'm giving some of the clues now. What may be this? The greater saphenoid. Yes, this one is GSB, greater, uh, uh, great saphenous vein. This one is the GSB, great saphenous vein. You can also say long saphenous vein. This is very, very important for your spotter examination. See, whatever I am telling important, whatever I am stressing here in the lower limb, this question will ask, okay? Will ask. So prepare properly and identify properly. These diagrams I'll share to you later after the class. So after class also, later on, we can review on these diagrams, but do not miss the identification of these structures. Okay, uh, so this one is the great saphenous vein. This is structure is the great saphenous vein. Okay, and uh, here and the structure which we can ask is, let's see here, uh, I'm going here. Okay, so here, can you identify this structure? What is this? This larger muscle, this is present there in the front of the thigh. What is this one? Uh, uh, I'll pick up some person. Yes, now Suraj Acharya. Can you ask this? Uh, can you answer this? Sir, rectus femoris. Good, very good. This one is the rectus femoris. Um, this muscle is the rectus femoris. Now, tell question will be its attachments. Origin you have to write. Insertion you have to write. Isn't it? And then it's nerve supply. What is nerve supply? Suraj, can you tell? Femoral nerve. What? Yeah, femoral nerve. Yes, it's good. Femoral nerve. And then what is the what is the action? The action also will ask. So what is the action? Where it is acting mainly? Can you tell? Suraj only, you can define all the things really relating to the rectus memories. So in extension of uh, knee joint. Yes, you are right. This is one of the muscles for the extension of the knee joint. Other muscles are also there. So this is centrally uh, placed muscle in the um, quadriceps femoris. Okay, so it is doing the extension of the knee joint. And uh, one of the head, you can say, originated from the uh, which part? Which part? Huh? Anterior, inferior, iliac spine. And another head is originated from the idiom above the upper margin of the acetabula. So both the heads cross the hip joint as well. So it is doing some action here in the hip joint also. This also you can write in the second point. So what may be doing in the hip joint? Can you tell Suraj? What is the main muscle for the extension of yes, the sir. Uh, its, it's main action is here, uh, ex, extension of the knee joint. And uh, what is it? its another action here in the hip joint? Can you tell? So the flexion of hip joint. Good, good. You are giving all the answers very correctly. You have scored three out of three in this sport. Okay, okay. three out of three. Like this, you have to answer. Origin, insertion, of supply, and action. Uh, very good, Suraj. Yes. Now we'll go into the end of the structure. Some of the structure I'll ask with you. Some of the structure I'll explain myself because if I start to ask everybody, time may not be enough to finish our target things today. Okay. So now see uh, in the front of the thigh, uh, this muscle, this muscle is uh, and the muscle which may be asked. This is present in the medial side. First of all, in the diagram, in the specimen, you have practiced enough. You can easily identify the side of the uh, structures in the specimen. But here in the diagram, you may be confused. So everybody, look the diagrams very carefully. 
Okay, see this one is the which side? Can you tell? This one is the which side? Uh, some of you can tell. Uh, now, Suman Adhikari, uh, which side of the which side of the uh, structure is this one? Towards the arrow, which side is this? Which side means medial side or lateral side? Mm -hmm. this. Suman, are you there? He's just giving the attention. This is not good, Suman. Now coming the uh, Shreya. Shreya, are you there? Yes, sir. So which side is this? Can you tell? Right side or left side? Oh. Lateral. Oh. Medial side or lateral side? Huh? Which side? Lateral side or medial side? Of the, of the uh, reason. Uh, how is it lateral? What is your view? How it is lateral? So I thought it's gracialis because the muscle is straight. No, no, no. It's medial. Okay, it's medial. Now, now, uh, and what you will not confuse. Okay, suppose this diagram is kept for your exam lesson, online exam lesson, uh, then you do not confuse now. Onward. This is medial side. This is lateral side. Okay. Uh, here, see how you can identify medial side. See here, yeah, this is the this is the perineal region. Okay, number one. Number two, see already we have counted vein structures. Femoral vein is lying towards the medial most uh, side among these three structures, isn't it? So this is femoral vein, this is femoral artery, and this one is femoral nerve. And other than this, here you can see one muscle. Okay, this muscle is the gracilis. Uh, you can uh, mute your mic now, Shreya. And listen to me okay so this muscle is the gracilis gracilis lies uh, in the medial side this is the uh, medial most muscle of the uh, thigh isn't it gracilis and how to identify this as lateral see here you can see thick fascia thick fascia see here this one is the thick fascia uh, this thick fascia here in this region is known as the uh, iliotibial tract we can see iliotibial tract laterally, okay? And here, proximally within the iliotibial tract, it is splits into the two layers, already, you know, theoretical part, and encloses a muscle. This muscle is known as the tensor fascia lata. So here you can see tensor fascia lata. If this muscle is eroded, this muscle is tensor fascia lata. If this structure is eroded, this structure is the iliotibial tract, okay? So, this one is the lateral side because in the lateral side there is iliotibial tract. This one is the medial side because in the medial side there is muscle gracilis. Okay, if you see in this region and if you see in the upper part also, these structures will be helping you to identify the side. In the beginning only, what I told, this is the ASIS. If it is pointed like this here, then you can write A, yes, IS full form you have to write. This is anterior superior iliac spine. This comes in the lateral side, okay? So, this muscle now, what is this? Can you tell Shreya, this muscle? If it is medial side, then this muscle, what is this? Can you tell? This muscle is the... This muscle is the... This muscle is the. I'm writing the third form here. Medialis. Yes, vastus medialis. Okay. Uh, you, you, you can mute your mic now. This muscle is the vastus medialis. Okay. Uh, everybody should identify like this. This one is the vastus medialis. And laterally, this muscle is the vastus lateralis. This muscle is the vastus lateralis. Okay. And this muscle already we have identified. This one is the rectus femoris. Now I am taking you into the end of the diagram. Here the rectus femoris is reflected. In this diagram, rectus femoris is reflected. Uh, one thing you remember, we are not going to take more pictures now. Within these pictures, we'll select some of the pictures and put you put, put for your examination. Okay? So you have to practice now in these diagrams. What is, this, what is this structure now? Uh, this structure which lies deeper to rectus femoris. This is rectus femoris. This reflected muscle here, 
this is reflected muscle here see this one is the rectus femoris deeper to rectus femoris this muscle will be vastus intermedius okay this muscle will be vastus intermedius so once again in this picture i am telling to you all the structures which are important for your reporters see this is vastus lateralis this is vastus intermedius and this one is the rectus rectus femoris okay and vastus lateral uh, medialis here you can see this one is the vastus medialis okay and if you go into the lateral side see here this one is the ilio this one is the ilio tibial tract this face here this one is the ilio tibial tract i have already we have already discussed about ilio tibial tract it is the um, thickening of the fascia lata in the lateral side of the thigh isn't it so this one is the ilio tibial tract this extends from the outer lip of the iliac crest till to the uh, lateral condyle of the tibia okay so here proximally this encloses one small muscle uh, this small muscle here in this diagram you can see uh, here is very good view of the ilio tibial tract you can see see here this is the ilio ilio tibial tract this one is the ilio tibial tract and the muscle which is lying there within the upper part of the ilio tibial tract this muscle here you can see gray structure here some part is opened see this is muscle is the tensor fascia lata tensor fascia lata okay uh, after this what is here to identify yes any any question you want to ask if you if you if you are feeling to ask some question please ask because here the identification is very very important minimum thing to pass the examination is identification before also is to say this thing now also we are telling this thing okay if you do not identify if your identification is wrong we will not give the marks okay if you at least identify you will get some marks about 50% of the marks you will get okay so identification of the structure is very very important and then you have to write the answers of the tail questions okay so here other than these structures uh, what will be the important for your examination um, yeah okay i think i have told you the important structures for the examination in this part uh, after this let us go into the and reason okay medial side of the thigh in the medial side of the thigh uh, what are the structures lying first of all you have to uh, remember these things and then and then you have to identify these things here in the diagram uh, see here this structure which is reflected outward or laterally this structure which is reflected laterally uh, see this structure can you identify this uh, i'll pick up some person now i'll go towards the other side uh, ishika are you there are you listening to me ishika yes sir yes sir yes can you identify this can you identify this structure uh, it is reflected from medial to lateral side uh, this must clue i'll give to you uh, so i can't now, see try to identify Oh, you are unable to see the diagrams. You are just listening to me. No, 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 no. right now. Okay, right now because the slide is not changed in your case. Okay, then. Just now. Yes. Uh, is it changed now? Is it uh, uh, visible now? So I can see. Uh, so uh, it's displaying names of students, not the gross oh. part of the lower no. one. Right. No, 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 no. Now it's. Right now also, I have I have minimized the name of the student. Now, can you see it? No, so it's still that. Okay, then then no problem. Then I'll go to the other student. Uh, Su Susan, are, are you there? Yes. Yeah, I hope you can see it. What is this one? What is this structure? Can you tell? which i'm tracing already i have told to ishika it is reflected from medial side to the lateral side 
Okay, what may be this? This is the third. So which ones? Every, uh, this one, I, I am painted uh, um, with the red color. See, yeah, I'm writing over it. So this is structure, this muscle, this muscle, very, very important muscle for your sport. Everybody see carefully, listen carefully, 100% concentration. Uh, uh, in the examination, uh, what we'll do, see, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll um, give arrow like this, okay? Uh, and if online examination happen, but then we'll give arrow like this. Okay, and we'll ask here, tell question, uh, uh, questions will be there, questions will be typed there uh, below the diagram. We'll prepare the PowerPoint like this, and then uh, with the question, we'll ask first of all to identify the erode structure, then other tail questions. If muscle, then attachments, if nerve, then the uh, root value or its origin, okay, distribution. If muscle after the attachment, then nerve supply, action, these are the things we'll keep there in the a question below the diagram. Questions are not typed here because now I am discussing, but in the examination I will not discuss. Questions will be typed there. Okay. So, what is this structure? You try. You try. Suraj, can you identify? Yes, Susan. Not Suraj. Adductor longus. Good man. Yes. This is the adductor longus. Very good. Okay. This is the adductor longus. It is reflected from medial to the lateral side. This is adductor longus, very good. Even though it is in the uh, uh, difficult position, you have identified it, very nice. So this is supplied by uh, which nerve? Suppose, see, this nerve is, this nerve is eroded. What is this nerve? Susan, can you tell? What is this nerve? Uh, nerve of so the this is adductor. Up to the touch. Yes. Very good, Entered. very good. Which division of very good, very good. You have out of three, you have already scored two. Now, what is the root value of this nerve, which is pointed here? Can you tell? Three questions uh, will be there, okay, for each quarter. Minimum three questions will be there. So, what is the root value of this nerve, which is pointed? Sir, L2, L3, L4. Good. You have scored three out of three. Very nice point. Yes. Uh, so this is the adductor longus supplied by the obturator nerve, entry division, and the root value of the obturator nerve is the L2, L3, and L4. If you write ventral rami of the uh, ventral, um, ventral, ventral branches of the um, um, ventral rami of L2, L3, L4, that will be more better than just writing L2, L3, L4, okay? So now you can do this muscle. Now I'm I'm telling you about this muscle. Deeper to the adductor lungs, they're like the adductor bradys. So this muscle is the adductor bradys. Everybody, please focus. Please focus in the diagrams, in the pictures, which I'm showing to you. Uh, this muscle here now, uh, which I am, showing you with the arrow here yeah, this one is the adductor bradys okay sometimes arrow may be here also this one is the adductor bradys okay this one is the adductor bradys and this adductor bradys separates anterior division of the obturator knob and the posterior division of the obturator knob so this knob which lies behind the adductor bradys here is the posterior division of obturator knob this is anterior division of obturator now, and this one is the posterior division of the obturator now. Okay, these are very very important, very very important. Two 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 divisions of the obturator now are very very important. Uh, so that we have taken the photo in the of the specimen searching these two knobs. See here, yeah. this arrow is showing now the posterior division of obturator now. You read everything about these things. Okay. Now I am going into the end of the structure. This is structure now. Okay, posterior to the adductor brevis. Posterior to the adductor brevis in the adductor compartment or the medial compartment, there is a big muscle, another big muscle. So this big muscle is the adductor magnus. This muscle is the adductor magnus. I hope everybody can identify it. 
uh, every spin here also you can say this muscle is the adductor minus okay and now more medial to the adductor minus you can see gracilis this muscle is the gracilis this is also another muscle on the medial side of the thigh uh, this one is the gracilis okay uh, upper part is detached from its origin and lower part you can see this muscle is the gracilis uh, so these are the structures which you have to identify in the medial side of thigh, front of the thigh, uh, okay, and and even the lateral part of the thigh. And so I have shown to you some of the important structures for the sculpture. Now I'll take you into the again, 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 again the same reason, electric compartment. Can can you can you identify the? This is the electric compartment. This reason is the adductor compartment. You are still seeing the adductor compartment. Okay. See here, this is the front of the thigh. Front of the thigh. Okay. And here, femoral triangle. This one. Okay. Here, this one is the adductor compartment. Here, one of the nerves, very, very important nerve, is picked up with the help of the forceps. So, this nerve is, this nerve is, and now I hope all the 100 students can identify this. I'll go to the, uh, yes, um, uh, Imalka, uh, I'm not getting your first name, I'm sorry for this. Imalka, are you there listening to me? So I'm in the Imalka, are you listening to me? Are you there in the class? Chamindi, so are you there? No, no, she also just want attendance. And then, yes, and the person, Hirumini, are you there? Hirumini? Hirumini also not there. Join the class only for attendance. And, uh, Taranum, are you there? Taranum? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, if I, I, I pronounced your name wrongly, I, I'm sorry for this. Uh, here you have to identify this structure. What is this one? The uh, white structure. This one, this white structure. Yes, if you have, uh, yeah, uh, just a minute. I'll erase it and then put the arrow properly, uh, similar for the examination see this arrow structure what is this one can you identify it? you can tell it huh? i'm not hearing loudly can you speak loudly a little bit louder good this is up to date now can you tell which division is this anterior division or posterior division So posterior division. Good, good. You are right. Posterior division. How have you guessed? This is the posterior division. On what basis you told posterior division? Can you tell the reason also so that your friends will be benefited from it? You have used your IQ properly, uh, but you, you tell it. How, how have you said this is the posterior division? Why it is posterior it is, division? It is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah, one thing is see, it is supplying the adductor magnus, and the thing is see, it is lying behind the adductor brevis. The front muscle here, see this muscle. This muscle also sometimes we can ask. We can provide arrow like this here, and we can ask this muscle sometimes. So you have to identify this muscle also. So this nerve lies behind the adductor brevis. Okay, number one. Number two, it's sending branch to the adductor magnus. Already you have studied adductor magnus is supplied by the posterior division of the obturator now. Very good, excellent answer. Okay, now I'm taking uh, all of you here into the this reason. Here also you have to identify some of the structure. Uh, here I'm telling to you, everybody listen carefully. Uh, see here in the diagram as well. See, this structure is the femoral vein, not artery. Do not confuse. You will do mistake. Um, 
uh, in between the femoral artery and the femoral vein. Then you will write artery, artery you write vein. Even though you know the relations, during the examination you will confuse. Uh, because you will make a mind uh, like this, the femoral veins or the venous structure will be darker. But here it is not looking darker. In comparison, see, artery is looking darker. So this concept always it will not work. Okay, this mindset of always it will not work. Here you have to see the relation. And you have to see, see, um, it's looking thin wall, see, and it's lying medially. So this one is the femoral vein. Later it will go later to the artery after crossing the uh, apex of the femoral triangle, but superior to the femoral triangle, uh, this structure, the femoral vein lies medial to the femoral artery. So this one is the femoral vein, and here this one is the femoral artery. And again, I am showing to you this thicker nerve, which is crossing the femoral artery from lateral to medial side. This nerve is the saphenous nerve. Okay, this nerve is the saphenous nerve. And sometimes even we can ask this nerve, very, very important nerve. So some of you, can you identify this nerve? If you can identify this nerve, I will be very happy. Okay, can you identify it? I'm erasing it and then giving uh, arrow properly uh, so that you not confuse about the thing which we have asked. So this one, okay, this nerve, can you identify some of you? Anybody you can identify, you can tell, you can come up and tell. Those who can so, identify this nerve, I hope. Yes, please, sir, yes. Sir, who is coming? coming. Uh, who, who is he? I'm not seeing. Uh, who is he speaking? Can you speak again? So, please sir, try again. Uh, can you tell your name? Here it is not showing your name. You are not blinking here. So, please. Yes, uh, you are Bridge Mohan. Bridge Mohan, yes. Now I can see to you. Uh, saphenous nerve already I have told this one is the saphenous nerve. Okay, this one is the saphenous nerve. So, two yeah. saphenous. Yes, this may be Surya. Are you Surya? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. So, this is right answer. Nerve to the vastus medialis. Okay. Uh, bridge, this is the saphenous nerve. This is the saphenous nerve. Or is running there into the adductor canal, but see now the vastus medialis in the beginning it's lying there in the adductor canal, but later on it will come out from the adductor canal and supplies to the muscle vastus medialis. Okay, so this one is the nerve to the vastus medialis, and uh, this nerve is important uh, not only to supply to the muscle, but also see one of the branch from here will go there to supply to the knee joint. Good, good, Surya, you have identified correctly. Uh, yes, very nice answer. Okay, so these are the even structures which we can ask in your sport examination from this diagram. Okay, after this, we'll go into the gluteal reason. Uh, gluteal reason is another important reason for the exporter. Uh, please mute your mic. Anybody uh, necessary later, you can unmute and speak. Now, mute your mic. So this one is the gluteal reason. Uh, Sometimes we'll ask very simple question. We'll just put an arrow here and we'll ask what is this superficial muscle which is arrowed. I hope all the hundred students can identify this muscle. You have seen this muscle enough in the dissection hall. Is that it? In the specimen like this. Okay. So this muscle is the gluteus maximus. This muscle is the gluteus maximus. Uh, the largest muscle of the gluteal region. Sometimes she will put a pin here, okay? Here, here also this is the gluteus maximus, but here you can see lower border of the gluteus maximus forming the gluteal fold, like this you can write here. Okay, if you write the gluteus maximus also, on the problem to us, okay, we'll give you the marks. So this is also the gluteus maximus. If it is pinned here also, this one is the gluteus maximus, okay? So this muscle is the gluteus maximus. What you have to read about the gluteus maximus for the tail questions are uh, its attachments. You have to prepare. It has many attachments. Okay, origin many, insertion two. This you read. Okay, nerve supply you have to read. Its action you have to read. This is one of the stronger extensor muscle of the hip joint. This important point I am telling to you. You remember this point. 
Okay, so after the gluteus maximus, we'll go deeper to the gluteus maximus. See here, gluteus maximus is reflected very nicely here. Okay, reflected very nicely here. See, if it is pinned here into the deeper part also, this is the gluteus maximus. If it is pinned here, pin means erode here into the other part also, gluteus maximus. If it is here also, gluteus maximus. Why I am showing different error in the different region is, see, in the examination during the preparing, preparation of the questions, we may put error anywhere. Sometimes we may put error here also. Okay, so you have to see all the dimensions of the structure. You have to prepare your spotter examination seeing all the parts of the structure, whatever projected there in the diagram, whatever visible there in the diagram. Okay, so this one is the gluteus maximus. And now we are going deeper to the gluteus maximus. Deeper to gluteus maximus lies several structures. Already you have studied the structures which are lying deeper to the gluteus maximus. So one of the important structure here is this one. Okay. This structure, I hope uh, all of you can identify. Swanam, Alvia, Swanam. Swanam. Yes, can you identify this structure? This structure, which is arrowed and now circled. Swanam, can you see it? Gluteus medius. Yes, you're right, Swanam. This one is the gluteus medius. Very good answer. And uh, do you know it's not supplying? Which nerve is supplying to the gluteus medius? It's superior gluteal nerve. Good, the superior gluteal nerve. And what is the main action of this muscle? Can you tell? Um, extension of hip joint. Uh, is it also the extensor? Gluteus maximus is the extensor. What is the action, main action of this gluteus medius? For abductor of the joint of thigh. And uh, other things, you know? Okay, okay, you read these things, okay? Now, now coming to the end of the structure, uh, will be identified by the different person. Uh, okay, here I, I'll... Tanuja. Tanuja Khatri, are you there? Tanuja. Yes, sir. Can you identify this structure and the structure? Gluteus minimus. Yes, very good, very good. So this one is the gluteus minimus. Similarly, for the other, other muscles here also, you have to read nerve supply, action, okay, and attachments also. So this one is the gluteus minimus. And uh, see here, and the muscle, you can see this muscle, very, very important muscle. This muscle is also known as key muscle of the gluteal region. So key muscle of the gluteal region is which muscle? Some of you, can you tell? So open question to everyone. Whoever can answer, can answer. So, the papyri papyrus. Good, good, very good. Many answers. You are right. You are coming excitingly. Uh, yes, very good. So this one is the papyrus. This is another important muscle for the sport. Sometimes we put arrow here. This one is the papyrus. And now you can see uh, some of the structures, not all the structures, some of the structures below the papyrus. So these structures are, see here, uh, a very, very important structure. Uh, easier, but important, very, very important. The arrow structure, uh, just a minute, I'll erase this arrow and put arrow again so that it will not confuse with the other structure, okay? Uh, during the examination, for one spotter only mm, will put arrow uh, on or two structures only, okay? so that you will not confuse. So what is this error structure? Again, everybody can come up and say... Society now. Very good, very good. You are very fast. Uh, who is this very fast speaking person I want to identify? Who, who, so Shreya. Name? Can you tell? So Shreya. Shreya. Good. Shreya Kodar. Very nice. Okay. Uh, excellent. Shreya. So this one is the sciatic knob. This one is the sciatic knob. After identifying, you have to know its root value, root value, 
okay l4 l5 h1 h2 h3 you can easily say uh, it's a, it's a, uh, exit from the uh, pelvic cavity this is to the greater sciatic foramen this also you can easily say and it's terminal divisions this also you can easily say these are the tibial nerve and the common peroneal nerve okay so some applied part also you can be related to this sciatic nerve okay and then along with the sciatic nerve see lying some time dorsally to it uh, there is another thin nerve there is another thin nerve if you identify this thin nerve by yourself i will be very happy with you all so what is this thin nerve uh yeah so yeah so we can come up okay uh this one bridge are you speaking again so inferior gluteal nerve inferior gluteal nerve on what basis you told this is inferior gluteal nerve see here it is going going more inferiorly see ya so it has posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh so yes this is right answer i think surya you are surya right so this one is the right answer uh this one is the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh or posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh also you can say uh inferior gluteal nerve i'll show to you now if you are confused with the inferior gluteal nerve and the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh then now onward you do not confuse the one which is going straight downward with the sciatic nerve see here is the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh and the one which is going here to supply to the gluteus maximus muscle see this one is the gluteus maximus muscle is the inferior gluteal nerve this one is the inferior gluteal nerve okay this one is the inferior gluteal nerve even inferior gluteal blood vessels also you can see this one is the inferior gluteal blood vessel the one which is more whiter is the nerve and the one which is comparatively less whiter again okay? the structure which is supplying to the gluteus maximus is the inferior gluteal artery okay even then also we will be there you can say inferior gluteal blood vessels but usually in the examination uh, if we want to ask we lack the nerve here yeah. inferior gluteal nerve superior gluteal nerve posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh sciatic nerve these structures will be asked i hope now you can identify everyone okay so even here you can see some of the other branch and tributaries of the artery nerve and the vein inferior gluteal artery inferior gluteal nerve and inferior gluteal vein okay all the three things will be running together here they will be branching again okay? and then uh, and then they will be running into the different part of the gluteus maximus because muscle is very big it should go into the all parts isn't it all the fibers so here you can see the inferior gluteal nerve is running into the many directions of the gluteus maximus okay i hope now this point you can easily identify this area you can easily identify uh Uh, after this, uh, I'll go into the other structure here. Here it is. Okay. okay. So here is see this one. This structure. Can you identify some of you? Can you identify this uh, white structure here? This one is already have told. This is piriformis. Is on it. This one is piriformis, and here it is coming like this. Okay. So this is the superior region. and this is in of the gluteal region it is horizontally shown in the diagram you should not confuse which is upper side which is lower side this one is the upper side and this one is the lower side this is piriformis so superior to the piriformis there will be the superior gluteal nerve so this small twig which is coming here to supply to the gluteus medius okay this is gluteus medius muscle and this one is the gluteus minimus muscle is the superior gluteal nerve this one is superior gluteal nerve even this nerve also sometime we can point okay so here can you see if you are still in confusion then once again i'm showing this nerve with the arrow see this one is the superior gluteal nerve is very distinctly shown now okay i uh, read the root value and the distribution of the both the nerves superior gluteal and inferior gluteal nerve and after this after this 
uh, I think today we'll, we'll do till to the gluteal region and rest of the part we'll do in the next revision class. I thought today only I'll finish everything of the lower limb. Uh, but see, we are going faster, so not beneficial to you. I thought like that. And we have enough number of the classes in future uh, so that I'm taking it slowly so everybody can be benefited from this. Okay. So here now you have to identify this reason. This reason also sometimes relax. Below the pineapple, small muscles are there. Small muscles are there. Already you have identified in the specimen. Now in this picture, you have to identify. Uh, I'm telling uh, some of the structures, some of the structures you will tell. So this muscle, this muscle, uh, I'm just giving arrow at first because in the examination, we are going to do the same. So we are showing everything transparently to you what we are going to do in the examination so that we will score the good marks without any confusion. Okay, so poor erode are there. Sometimes she, even in the examination, especially for the PP, uh, if we ask uh, this uh, long answer type question, we used to say, um, uh, what is that called? Uh, uh, in the exporter, we used to say, what is that? Five marks questions we used to give. Um, I have forgotten the word now. Yes, can, can you remember? Histology exporter will be. Yes, yes, OSC, OSP, very nice. Uh, OSC, OSP, uh, we can make like this. See here, some of the structure, if it is five marks, even this structure also, we can pin, okay? Uh, we can pin like this. Identify number one, two, three, four, five, like this we can ask. So can you identify number one? Um, any one of you can contribute the answer, if you know. If not, then I'll tell. Superior what is number one? Superior yes. Gemini. Superior gemless. Yes, many of you have the correct answer. So this one is the superior, superior gemellus. Superior gemellus. Number two is the obturator. Internal tendon, tendon, of, the tendon of the obturator. Yeah, very good, very good. The white part is the tendon of the obturator internals. And then number three is the inferior genelus. Okay. Yes, very good. And this number four is the quadratus. Uh, quadratus, yeah. Not quadriceps. You know this. This one is the quadratus femoris. Okay. This one is the quadratus femoris. And here, can you tell what is this one? Number five. Some of you can you try. If you identify this muscle, I'll be there. The magnus. Yes, very good, Surya. This one is the adductor magnus. This one is the adductor magnus. This muscle, even though it's small part, is visible. In the upper side, this one is the adductor magnus. Below the quadratus femoris, there will be the line of the adductor magnus. Very good, very nice. Even here also you can see the same muscle, adductor magnus, because it is magnus, so it is large. Okay, very, very easy reason. It is magnus. So, everywhere it is. In the upper part also, in the lower part also. In the front side, electric compartment also you can see. And even from the back side also you can see. From the back side you can see its hemistring part. From the electric compartment front side, you can see its electric part. So, this one is the electric magnus. Very good answer. So, like this also, we can formulate the position and we can score good marks. Okay, if you answer all the five identification properly, I'll give five out of five. Okay, five out of five. If there is this type of equation in the online examination, OSC and OSPE. Okay, uh, sporters also already I have told to you maybe carrying more weightage this time the online examination held because uh, we'll reduce the number of sport questions, so weightage will be more. Okay. Uh, per question, weightage will be more. So these things after deciding later also will inform to you, but before this, you have to practice in this type of the diagrams, okay? Uh, after this here, uh, back of the thigh, I think better to do next time, already time is running uh, 56 minutes here in my watch, uh, only four minutes left. So some of the part, uh, which is related to this region only, gluteal region, we will discuss uh, utilizing under four minutes. 
So here, very, very important structure, very, very important structure. One of your teacher is picked up this structure, doing the very hard work and showing here uh, for your benefit. She uh, picked up with the help of the forceps, picked up with the help of the forceps. So what is this structure? Can you identify? Very important structure. I have circle also, pinned also, but in the examination, either there will be arrow or the circle again pin structure. Uh, both the things will not be here yes pin structure very good this is the pin structure great man our students are brilliant demo hall uh, very nice so this one is the this one is the pin structure because it is pinned in the beginning so it is pin structure is that it yes so what are the the structures which are lying in the pin structure huh some of you can integrate voluntarily you can come no need to pick up language one person can speak at the time if one person is starting this, the other person can mute your mind yes put in the knob yes internet put in the vessels and and yes very good yes very good Okay, all right. P I N pin. If some of you are still not remembering the pin structure, now onward you remember it. P I N pin. P means pudendal knob. Okay, pudendal knob. I means internal pudendal blood vessels. And N means knob to the obturator internals. So here yeah, the thickest structure, the car like structure, is the pudendal knob. Okay, I'll, I'll not arrow only the put in the knob with arrow whole structure like this. You can write pin structure together at least for this online set, uh, person of the exam. Listen. Okay, uh, so this one is the pin structure, and then in the tail question, uh, we'll, we'll pin like arrow like this and pin structure. You can say, and then tail question will be integrate the content of the pin structure. Then you can write all these things put in the knob. Intraprudental vessels and knob to the obturator internals. Knob to obturator internals will be lying deeper here. Okay. Uh, and this thick structure is the pudendal knob. Very good. What is the importance of the pudendal knob? Already it is talked to you, oh, isn't it? It's applying to the peridial region. So many structures there in the peridial region, genitalia, are supplied by the pudendal knob. So this is the importance. Okay. And even we can do pudendal block here. Um, Sometimes if there is necessity of the uh, um, uh, what to say, uh, uh, incision of the wall of the vagina for the easier delivery, uh, we can block the pudendal knob with the help of the shell spine. So all this clinical part already you have studied and already you have given the examination related to this. Now you have to think for the identification and some of the uh, part like root value, okay, it's distribution, this thing you have to prepare okay uh, so these are the things which we can ask from these regions front of the thigh medial side of the thigh and the gluteal region uh, even lateral side of the thigh we have discussed now next class we'll discuss the back of the thigh and then remaining part of the lower limb leg all the compartments of the leg foot as well as joints okay uh, next class will be this revision class for your practical session, um, practical examination will be um, next Friday again, okay? But that will be now time after the 19th July will be, will be different than this time. That will be 9.30 to 10.30. And today uh, I want to announce to you before winding of the today's session, Sunday, I think you all of you know it, Sunday, uh, what is the time? 9.30 to 10.30. Is that it? 9.30 to 10.30 will be the anatomy uh, weekly test. Uh, we have already prepared questions. Uh, all the questions will be MCQ. Okay. Uh, 50 questions will be there and time will be one hour. Okay. And then you have to join this team. Uh, I hope all of you have joined already. Those who have not joined till now, you will miss the examination and will be zero marks or absentees record for you okay those who have not joined and not appeared in the examination uh, we have to submit these marks to the our academic office 
okay so seriously you read for the anatomy today and what and then appear the examination everyone and syllabus everything i have already kept uh here group you can once again look it uh git means starting from the oral cavity to, to the inner canal all the parts will relax okay salivary glands gross also will relax git histology development gross everything will relax including pancreas but hepatic biliary will not be there liver gallbladder bile duct will be asking in the other examination okay uh so any questions you, you want to ask regarding the uh sundays um weekly anatomy test you can ask it me now a uh, question will be appeared in the activity there you can go click there okay and you can start writing the answers clicking the correct answer and then you have to submit before your time will be over this is this is all um, technology is doing isn't it internet is doing so you cannot wait one minute also before two three minutes um of your time will over you have to submit it if you delay then by one second also it will be not submitted then you will be facing the problem okay and will not get the answers of, uh, late submission answers will not entertain the late, late submission answer so i hope now you are clear on everything any questions now you are having no okay uh, so dear students this was for today i'll just download the attendance and then we'll find out the two h class okay uh, it is downloaded uh, i'll just check how many you are there uh, one time uh, in the participants list i can go 93 but uh, in the beginning if 93 attendance there uh, it will be very happy moment for all of us many of you are joining slowly okay uh, please try to join from the beginning on one uh, okay class this was for today